Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia for those who are tuning in and welcome back to everybody else. So baby tofu is in the room so you guys may hear some squeaking from time to time. I will be having some music in the background so hopefully that noise isn't too harsh on the ears for you guys. In today's video, I thought it would be kind of fun to pull out some new but old makeup that I've never used or things that I bought and I felt like I will use it but I never end up using them. So today we're gonna create this look with some new makeup. So if you guys are interested, then please keep on watching. So I'm gonna start off with some makeup that I actually haven't used in like forever. As a makeup junkie, I just purchase things and sometimes I forget to even have it. So I'm starting off with this brow pencil. This here is the Dior Show Brow Styler. What I really like about this pencil is that it's a wind up, it's super, super thin and it does have a spoolie on the end. Now I'm not even sure if this is my color. This is number 001 at Universal Brown. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but I have a busted finger here. It's kind of gross, so I don't really want to zoom in there, but you may see it in some of the clips as I zoom in. So the other day we were going out and I was closing the trunk. There has been a little, I don't want to say a lot, rain here in the bay, but we do need some rain. So I was closing my husband's trunk of his car and the trunk is a little bit heavier. I know to always use my palms to push down because it's heavy. So I did use my palm, but since there was like water residue, I don't know from the lotion or just my hand slipped that when I pushed downwards, it like slipped under the trunk thing and it like crushed my finger. And my nails are like jacked up. I want to repaint them. They're all chipped. Ow. But at the same time, I don't want to mess with this finger because I'm trying to let this dry so the scab can heal. And low key, I don't want to take off the polish because I know the trunk hit the nail. So I don't want to see how bruised it is. I'm like, please don't fall off. Please don't fall off. I'm recovering, I'm okay, I'm alive, but I kid you not, I was like crying for like the next 20 minutes in the car ride. And my husband was trying to talk to me, asking me, where did I wanna go? What do we wanna do? Because we were doing grocery shopping or something. And I was just like, I don't know, just go there first, go there first. I was just crying. I haven't had so much pain like that happen to me. I am super, super clumsy, so yeah. Ooh, this pencil actually works really nicely. I just feel like it just takes forever to fill in my brows with this thinner type of pencil. I'm like, um, is there color? <laughs> okay. This is definitely a nice pencil. It's just taking forever to fill in. Only because I'm so used to the thicker pencils. I don't hate it. Ooh, it's like waxy too. I don't know if it's from my towel being so tight, it's pushing my eyebrows up that I, I'm like trying to follow my eyebrow shape. <laughs> As you guys can see, I just got out of the shower. I'm nice and clean, but I'm so excited to create a look for you guys using this palette. This is their new Christmas edition, which is the Warmth Eye Cheek Palette. So it actually has all these colors that I saw online and I thought it would be so pretty to film another holiday look. One of the colors in this palette really caught my eye. It's like a beautiful emerald blue. Sorry, more like a sapphire blue. It's really rich, but it's such a pretty shade. To be honest, I never tried any Bare Minerals shadows except for when they first came out with like loose pigment or, you know, loose eyeshadow. That was like the only time I've actually used their eyeshadows. So I'm actually really excited for this. I feel like this pencil is really good for me, especially if I just really want to define my brows and not make them so thick like I normally have them filled. And especially with the tattooing color, this makes it not so blue it's like so cool gray already this just balances just enough of like an ashy tone which i like okay we need to get this towel off my head my hair's gotten so long now that literally this towel is making my neck hurt use my go-to bunny ears okay now my eyebrows are a little bit dropped 
<laughs> they weren't so like this and crazy looking. Okay, so I already primed and carved my brows off camera and we're gonna move into this palette here. So again, this is the Bare Minerals Warmth Eye and Cheek Palette. So one fun fact about this is that the packaging is all made out of recycled items. Now, Bare Minerals is a vegan and cruelty-free Bare Minerals is a vegan and cruelty... I can't open this. Trying to open this without jamming my middle finger and injuring it more. So I'm just going to have to rip the sucker. Yep, like literally rip it because I can't pull the tab off. Well, it has a little elastic here you can remove. And then you're just going to open. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. First impressions on this, it's stunning. I love the sleekness of it. The matte black cardboard packaging and the colors here. First thing I think of is NARS packaging and Natasha Denota type of crushed pigment shadows. I mean, it's pretty, it's vibrant. It just looks so holiday, but very chic. On the back of the box, it says clean without compromising performance. Inspired by our best loved warmth all over the face color, these buildable, blendable, mineral infused bronzer and eyeshadow shades add the perfect touch of holiday radiance to cheek and eyes. This is so pretty. This literally just reminds me of like a purse or something. It's just like everything in one, you know? It would be great to travel with because it's nice and small. You can take this with you. It doesn't stand up, but you can possibly hold this against like the vanity or like, you know, I don't know, a purse or something so you can use it as a stand-up vanity. I already prepped my face and I used this Ginger Cream by Kenzoki. Since fall has begun, it really feels like winter because definitely not as warm, but you got that crisp morning fresh chilly air throughout the day but especially in the mornings it's super super cold and i noticed my skin has been dry so i actually switched all my gel based moisturizers to creams now because i've been using this night and day my skin is so dry that it needs the extra hydration i'm gonna bring back my top five favorite series and i believe a favorite winter cream is ideal so I'm gonna start off with the fluffy brush, a transition shade. Let's go ahead and go in with that glowing warmth because I really wanna know how the shade will turn out on my skin. This is actually a not bad color for a transition or the crease shade. It's definitely not that warm. I mean, it does have that warmth in this because that's what they're known for, but it kind of works out and becomes a little bit more neutral. Ish, this is such a pretty color. It's so pretty though. Go ahead and put this all over the lids first and then just kind of raise it up. Sorry if you guys hear that weird noise in the background. We are vacuum sealing some food, which means another camping trip. <laughs> so we are having our, I think this will probably be the last camping trip for the season. We've camped so many times this year. I don't think we ever really camped during like the fall and winter. So definitely it's gonna be a game changer because the weather is changing and we're definitely pulling out all of our winter gear. All right, so I think I'm getting a little carried away with this color. It's definitely warming up the crease. I'm just gonna lay off on that color cause I don't want it to be like a really warm fall look. I'm really trying to incorporate that blue in there to make it more like a holiday look. Going in with that flat shadow brush and I'm just going to lightly Ooh. dab this wow. onto my lids. I am being extra careful and making sure I'm tapping out the excess because it's annoying to have fallouts. And being that this is a mineral, I feel like it's gonna be a little bit loose. I do have a little bit, not too much. This is a very pretty color. I don't know where all this fallout is coming out from. All right, we got some fallout, <laughs> but it's okay. This is a very pretty blue, but I feel like the blue isn't as vibrant as it is on the palette. Although I primed my lids, I feel like the pigment just kind of goes away. I don't know if I 
should have used it as a black base first. I mean, it's a pretty color, but I just wish it had like a punch to it. So I dislike that blue. So we're gonna start over. So nobody's perfect and this is what happens. We're gonna go in with that glowing warmth again, just in that crease. That blue just looks so like blotchy. I wish it just had more blue than black in it. So it can just show off more of the pearly blues, but it didn't happen. Jumping in with a little bit of that ember, I'm just going to lightly warm up the crease again. Jump in with the color flicker, just because I feel like it's such a beautiful pearly white, but with the rose undertone color. See, now this is my jam. Although that blue color was very pretty and it was something I had to try. These types of like chrome pigment would be really good for like cut crease looks, but we're not doing that today. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that ember and just kind of connect them together. I think what we can do is still incorporate the blue as an eyeliner. So I'm just gonna start off here and it's going across my lash line. Just apply it on like eyeliner. And I'm lightly just going to smoke it out. So I don't have to feel like I totally neglected that color. I'm still incorporating it. Let's get some lashes on. See how the blue doesn't really come out as blue? It just looks kind of like black and like a charcoal color. It's all good because we're not perfect and whatever we can do, can't do, we always make the best out of it, right? You guys watch my videos, sometimes things just doesn't go well, but we make the best out of it. So just a little shameless plug here. <laughs> go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I do have more videos coming up. And for those who are new to the channel, I do post my monthly favorites at the end of every month. So along with that, it becomes December, right? The next day because my monthly favorites are at the end of the month. So me being a Capricorn, I'm gonna film a look for you guys. I don't know if it's because I put concealer on, but it's starting to show a little blue. I don't know if it's maybe because I add a little bit more pink in there, but whatever it is, I'm liking it so far. <laughs> Take a little bit of that warmth just to kind of fill in that little patch area there. I'm also gonna film a Christmas holiday gift guide. Kind of like ideas what you guys can gift each other. With this pandemic, life has been rough for everyone. So with that video, I'm most likely going to show a range from like, I don't know, $5 to maybe like 50. And of course, they're gonna be a little bit more expensive ones for those who wanna splurge or able to. So anyway, stay tuned for that video as well. So for foundation, I'm just gonna use the Hourglass Veil. And for the concealer, I've been using the Makeup by Mario Eye Prep in Medium. I just used the darkest shade there. I did gain some color from camping. You guys probably hear me say that so many times and are annoyed, I'm sorry. And I only say that because sometimes in the videos that I film with my current concealers, it just wasn't working out. We've just been at home. I haven't gained or lost any color. So the darkest color in that palette has been working out for me where I don't have to use two concealers. Went back in with my smudger brush. This is by Sigma, one of my favorite. Oh, it's called a short shader. Shader. It's actually called a short shader brush, but I've been using it to like smudge out things. So I've been calling it a smudger. So I am gonna use it later on the bottom to smudge because it works perfectly. But what I did was I kind of went along the line and I just smudged it out and I kind of flicked it outwards. So it kind of has a soft blended look. So it's not as harsh. So I'm not giving up on this palette quite yet but I am going to use the glowing warmth all over the face and concentrate a little bit more on the cheeks to see how much of a bronzy or warmth look it would get. I'm gonna use my big puffer brush here or my husband calls a paint brush. Ooh, it's so warm. I was trying to avoid that. See on the palette, it looks so neutral. It just comes out a bit red on my skin. And I don't know if that was what I used to use like long, long, long time ago and it didn't look so red on me, I don't know. But then later they came out with a faux tan which is a matte bronzer and it was very, very neutral. Oh gosh, that was like my jam. I wonder if they still make that. So I'm gonna use this as blush which I normally do with bronzer because I don't wear blush. It's actually starting to look okay. 
but this palette isn't look at this it's like it's starting to divide into like three four sections it's not my brush do you see how it's starting to crack into like four pieces it's so weird anyways you know what i'm taking it back it's actually looking nice let's go ahead and finish up the eyes i'm gonna take that same cinder color make sure i'm tap it out real nice it looks more blue here I'm all trying to blend it with my tissue. Can you guys tell that it is a little bit more blue here? I don't know if it's my complexion or skin not taking the color when I was applying it on top. Really don't know, but it's turning out okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take that same mascara that I used before my falsies, and this is a waterproof one. I like using this little ball kind of silicone material. That's what I basically do. I just kind of run it across the lashes. They're not long enough for me to like really comb. Look at my baby lashes. They're actually there. I have to say guys, Ofra and Becca highlighters, hands down best highlighter. So I'm gonna use another highlighter. This is more of like a dewy glowy lot glow, glow. This gives more of like a dewy effect. And I'm just going to do two dots. And I know I'm using this over the shimmer highlighter. I just want the shimmer highlighter to look a little bit more dewier. I was using new makeup and I totally used my old stuff. I forgot that I purchased this. This is Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. Got two colors here. I think for this look, this color would be perfect. And this color here suits me best, Fearless. It has like a really sweet scent. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this lippy. Let's try this beautiful red. Inspire. Oh. Now I have no idea if this is like a blue red, orange red, yellow red. It's like on the brighter side. But again, I'm not sure if it helps that I had the other berry colors underneath. I will give this a try one more time. But right now, it's making my teeth look yellow, which I don't like. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay tuned for more videos to come, gift ideas, and Zodiac makeup, monthly favorites. I have another husband and wife video coming up. And of course, at the end of every year, I always post my best of beauty and makeup videos. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!